we have a solution for that. Give me that. Genius Supplies. What's up, Spikes? We're back in the studio. Today, we're playing CDH with some faces that you probably haven't seen in like a few months, I think. Uh, we got Jan in the studio, we got Jerry in the studio, and our old standby, Alex, and me, Jim. Uh, today, we're like I said, we're playing CDH. Uh, before we get into it, though, I want to shout out our sponsor, Game Genic. Uh, they have been so generous. They sponsor the whole channel. Every video that you see on this channel is sponsored by Gamegenic, which is awesome. You see these awesome play mats that they provided for us, as well as these sleeves. Uh, Gamegenic stuff rules. It's all really, really good. So uh, go check them out. Go share, uh, share, share. Go share. Go show them some show love. love. That's share I mean. their love. Go of share, your. share their love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and one more thing, I'm going to plug before the game starts. We've got this really cool play mat. It's called Spike Feeder Cereal. Uh, this was done by Mike Burns, who did the Just Add Milk Secret Lair, uh, mm -hmm. which was all cereal art themed. If you want to get this play mat, you can get this as well as, well as a bunch of other cereal themed stuff that we, uh, as of the filming, we haven't revealed yet, mm -hmm. but we will in the next couple weeks. Um, it's all on our Kickstarter. You're going to find the, the details and the link to that in the show notes. Uh, so with that, let's get into it. Uh, I'm Jim, like I said. Today, I am playing Yuriko, the Tiger's Shadow. Uh, this is an aggro deck. It's a tempo deck. The idea is I'm going to get these unblockable ninjas out. I'm going to ninjutsu in Yuriko, and I'm just going to start donking people by revealing cards off the top of my deck. Um, so it's a really fast deck. The idea is we're just going to be just shredding life totals right from right from turn one. My life total. <laughs> <laughs> I only have 40 of that. Yeah. Uh, I'm Jen. I'm back. Hey. Uh, and today I'm playing Riel, the Everwise, and this is a Is It Wheels deck, um, and you're going to try to do the, you know, breach combo, and I just want to draw a ton of cards. I don't even really care about winning, just draw my whole deck. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, I'm on Shalai and Halar. Uh, new deck for me, new type of deck for me. It's a creature combo deck, so there's quite a few combos that go one-on-one -on -one with Shalai and Halar, such as uh, Heliod and the Red Terror. Um, but there's also some other decks. It's just tries to go fast, and if it doesn't go fast, we have some uh, some hate bears just to slow everybody else down a little, and hopefully get one of our uh, combos out before somebody can stop us or before they combo. Hi everybody, my name's Alex, and much like my commander, I've been trapped in this basement for 20 years. I'm playing Obnixilus, Captive Kingpin. I'm going to be looking to deal one damage to my opponents at a time to put on some counters on Obnixilus, as well as get some impulse draw by exiling the top card of my library. I'm also looking for some creature-based combos, specifically oh. all will be one, so I can hopefully burn the entire table down. All right. Well, I run the die roll, so That's we're going to get right into it. Sounds great. Hey, Jim. Yeah. I've got pregame effects. <gasps> I'm afraid for my life. To Gemstone. Work. Okay, cool. Wheel of Fortune. I will draw a card. I'm going to play this snow-covered island and tap it to cast this Wing Crafter. That's a 1-1 one -one with Soul Bond. As long as it's paired, both creatures have flying. And then I'll pass the turn. All right, I'll draw. I will play a Lava Glide Pathway. I'll tap it for red and cast Ragavon. <sighs> and then I'll pass the turn. That's a blocker. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will play a Savannah. Tap the Savannah for a white. Play a Soul Ring. I'm terrified of this Ragavan. But you know what they say? Who cares? I'm going to tap Soul Ring. They for, do say that. They do. <laughs> for two colorless. I'm going to exile Elvish Spirit Guide. Elvish Spirit Guide mm -hmm. uh, to add a green. And then floating a colorless Survival of the Fittest. Oh, okay. And I will pass the turn. You wasn't kidding about going fast. Yeah. Yeah. Draw a card. We'll play a snow-covered mountainous land for turn. We'll tap it to play a Sol Ring. We'll tap it to play a Talisman. We'll pass. You weren't kidding about going <laughs> fast. No kidding. What, what, is, what does Obnixilis do? <laughs> <laughs> You'll find out next turn. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. Well, I'll tap. I'll draw a card. I will play a City of Brass, and I'm going to cast a Mox Amber. Ooh, nice. Then I'm going to move to combat. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I'm going to attack Jerry for <laughs> one. That's fair. Blocks? No. Okay. I'm going to tap two, taking one, going to 39. Yep. And I'm going to uh, return 
An unblocked creature I control to my owner's hand. Okay. To Commander Ninjutsu and Yuriko, tapped and attacking. Take one. So you'll take one, and then Yuriko triggers, and I'll reveal the top card of my library. It's an Imperial Seal, so I'll add that to my hand, and everybody will take one except for me. I am down to 38. Oh, I don't like that at all. I think we might as well, right? You all know I have it, so I'm going to cast Imperial Seal. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to put this card on top of my library, and I'll lose two life to the Imperial Seal. Gotcha. 37. That's it for me, so I'm going to pass. All right, cool. And that's up. Draw this card here. Uh, play an island. And then, boy howdy, am I curious what card Jim put on top of his library. So Jim, I'd like to attack you for two. <laughs> I said during the cut, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to draw this next turn. So like, I'm not going to put something really you know, <laughs> expensive on top. Uh, anyway, yeah, declare no blocks. All right. I will uh, reveal an, a vampiric tutor. Oh, <laughs> tutor uh, you also get a treasure. I do jam. get a treasure. Yes. Would you like to use this treasure to cast this vampiric tutor? Kind of. I should have given him like shadow of mortality. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to crack my treasure and cast vampiric tutor. Sure. So I'll go 37. Uh, Jim will go 35. Man. Yeah, when you cast Imperial Seal, I was like, <laughs> cool. What kind of world would this be if I wasn't a f idiot? <laughs> 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 put this card on top. Spoiler alert, it's Vampiric Tutor. And then uh, put the Vampiric Tutor in Jim's graveyard. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll pass. Oh, wow. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw, land. We did not get there. Oh, we kept a Jim hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is sad. Uh, pa pass the turn. <sighs> Whoa. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I was just shocked. Wow. Well, I was a, it was a real Jerry keep. He might be playing it close to the chest. He does have a green and a survival of the fittest. So true, true. He's just going to reanimate Protean Hulk on his turn. I'm going to play this Polutus Dudus mm -hmm. and send it to the Buddhist. Uh, in response, flash an archivist of Hog. Oh, I thought you were going to flash an opposition agent. I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah, you can go ahead and gain a life and draw a card. Not yet. Oh. Search for your land. Oh. Mm -hmm. Off my polluted Delta, there's a swamp. Oh. You're at 38. And I go to 38, yes. And then I back gain a life 39. back to 39, and I draw a card. Cool. <laughs> Two. Black. Red. Up next to Lassa! Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Four, three, Flample. Flample, yeah. He gets bigger, though. Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, maybe worry about it. Kederic Parasite. Oh, the card is so good. Uh, <laughs> you probably recognize this one from your Torwaki deck. I played deck. my Torwaki deck, and it's yeah. like actually the best card in the deck. <laughs> yep. Whenever an opponent draws a card, if I control a red permanent, you may have Kederic Parasite deal one damage. To yeah, that it's so oh. good. It's so good. Oh, yeah. But all oh, my cards yeah. say draw a card. Oh. I know. Oh. Anyway. This isn't, this isn't a May. Good luck. Thanks, man. <laughs> best turn. Okay. Okay, I'll untap. And draw a card for my turn. Trigger. I'll take one. When you take one, I've got another trigger. Ugh. Got you to 34. We'll put a 1-1 one, one counter on Ob Nixless, Captain Kingping, and Exile. Bergie, got a storytelling. I can cast that until the beginning of my next end step. Okay. Oh, this is like Prosper on steroids. Yeah, umpa mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to play this Exotic Orchard as my land for turn, and I will cast this Wing Crafter. You remember that one from before? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, ETV, Soul Bond trigger. I'll Soul Bond it with Yuriko, giving both of them flying. Mm. Then I'm going to move to combat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will declare a at Jerry for one. Oh, I will not block because it has flying. So okay. I will take one. Trigger. 38. <laughs> so I'll resolve my Obnixless trigger, put a 1-1 one, one counter, and exile Dothy Voidwalker. Okay. Now my Yuriko trigger will resolve, and I'll reveal Cabal Pit. You will all take zero. Oh, deal. I go back to yeah. 38. Please note that. <laughs> Uh, I'm noting it as I took 38. Very Wait, good. no. <laughs> That's going to be it for me. I will pass. All right. I'll on tap. Draw for my turn. Ooh, I knew about that one. Everybody calm down. Okay. Uh, surprising no one. I'm going to cast Dockside. Yeah. I've got one. Two. Five. Five. I'll get five treasures. Very good. All right. Oh, uh, when you draw your card for the turn, you take one damage. 36. Counter on Obnixilis. Oh, Exile. Yogg's will. Oh that's, boy. That's fine. <laughs> I'm glad that the Wheel of Fortune is exiled and not in his yeah. graveyard. <laughs> is the, yeah, the casting is not dependent on Abnixilis being in play. Until my next end step, I may play that It's card. a duration effect. It's a duration yeah. We're just going to do something fun, because we're here to have fun. And yeah, I'm going to spend two treasures. I'm going to cast Twin Flame targeting Dockside. Yeah. Sure. Hey, we did it. Okay. There's my Dockside copy and my five new treasures. Oh, I don't like that. 
Me neither. All right, uh, let's attack someone. Because I bet, I bet Jerry wants to keep his Archivist. I don't know that he does. Does he, Jerry? It grows Obnexilis and Keteric Parasite. I think it's maybe a good idea to get rid of it, though. You're not connecting on with Ragavan on much of anything, and no. Jerry probably doesn't want his Archivist around. Seems correct to me. I feel like also, I don't know, Jerry might not have lands. <coughs> he might want to be drawing cards, even though it's going to trigger Obnixilis. Yeah, and as blockers, they don't do anything because Obnixilis and Yuriko both have flying. Yeah. Okay, Jerry. Let's rumble. <sighs> That's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> that face. <laughs> that face is... I'm going to take two. Okay, interesting. Very six. Right, wants to keep his archivist. Make another treasure. You ready for this? I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it says cast though. Should have blocked. Yeah, it says exiled. Exiled yeah, forever. So exiled forever. Should have blocked. Should have blocked. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with how that went. I will pass the turn. I'm not happy with how that went. Jen I will. has so much mana. Mm. It's fine. He I is. I can't draw cards. <laughs> Trigger. Counter on Obnixilis. Wheel of Misfortune. That's a problem. <laughs> nah, it's fine. It's a big problem. Uh, this copy actually needs to be exiled. I was okay. just too excited to have two dock sides. <laughs> Combat, first of all. Mm -hmm. Jan. Yeah. Two, yeah. I think two. 34. You might ask, why did you do that, Jerry? Why'd why you do did that? you do that, Jerry? Well, you see, I don't know. Cool. I'm going to tap three mana, uh, Savannah for a white floating and colorless. I'm going to play a Spirit of the Labyrinth. Oh, I like that. That is everything I can do on my turn. <laughs> it's like a double-edged knife, though, right? Yep. Because it means that we're not going to grow Obnexilis to ridiculous sizes, but it also means that he can just strip our hands with the Wheel of Misfortune. Yep. <laughs> I think I'm playing the wrong deck. <laughs> <laughs> gonna untap, upkeep, draw. We're gonna start out by paying three for Bergy, God of Storytelling. That's a good one. Yeah, I'll pass on Bergy. Yep. Yep. Right on. Uh, we will then go ahead and cast Black Black, Dothy Void Walker. Yeah. So we're going to exile it with void counters after we start doing Pass stuff. Pass on Dothy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. All right. That adds a red to our mana pool. And we'll use that red to cast Mana Vault, which adds a red to our mana pool. Wow, that's free Mana Vault. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. I'll pass. You got it. Right on. I'll then cast Lion's Eye Diamond, still floating one red to float another red. Mm -hmm. Effects? Nope. Yep. I'm pay one extra for Wheel of Misfortune. We're going to each secretly choose a number here real quick. Nope. Oh. Pierce Guardianship. But I wanted to secretly choose a number. Yeah, that seems yeah. bad for us. Yeah, no yeah. fix. That's your Pierce Guardianship. Ah, I'm not stopping Fierce Guardianship. Yeah. Wheels countered. Uh, this gets exiled to Dothy. Dothy. I'll move to attacks. Uh -huh. Jim, eight. Yeah, I'll take eight. I think that's it. That's all. Yagma's will will be forever exiled as we pass the turn. Phew. Cool. I'll untap. I'll draw a card. Trigger. Yeah, I'll trigger Cataract Parasite. Go to 25. Trigger. Counter. Exile a Chrome Mox. Okay. I'll play an island as my land for turn. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to move to combat. Alex, I will attack you with two creatures. Two creatures. All in, right. Both in the air. Both in the air. I think that puts me to 36 with no blocks. No blocks. I will act. Okay. I am going to tap two. Mm -hmm. And Ninjutsu in Sakashima's student <laughs> tapped and attacking. Hey. That's going to enter as Obnixilis. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So you will take five. Yeah, 33. Does it remain a ninja in addition to its other types? It does. Oh, that's sick. So I do get two Yuriko triggers. Uh, you also get an Obnixilis trigger because you dealt... Nope. I... No. <laughs> Wait. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, because you took one damage off Yuriko. Right? Yeah, two separate sources. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. yeah. Okay. So I now have three triggers. One of them is from my newly uh, newly born Obnixilis, <laughs> yeah. uh, from Alex taking the one damage off of Yuriko. So I will resolve that, put a plus one plus one counter on Obnixilis after damage, and I will exile the top card of my library and I can play it till end of turn? Until the end of this turn. The end of this turn. Okay, it's a Prosperous Thief. Hmm. That's exiled. And then now I've got two Yuriko triggers because I had two ninjas deal combat damage to a mm -hmm. player. Yeah. First one, uh, everybody is gonna take zero, Okay, I can do that. I'll write that down. Get wrecked. Yeah. Second one, everyone is going to take two for Tetsuko Umezawa, Fugitive. Put that in my hand as well. I'm going to cast an Ornithopter. Mm -hmm. Remember that one from earlier? Yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to take one off the City of Brass, triggering yeah. Alex's Obnixilis. Gotcha, 24. 
six counters and we hit demonic tutor. Okay, cool. I'm gonna use my uh, mana that I've just made to cast this prosperous thief. Very nice. I think that's gonna be it for me. I'll pass the turn. All right, I will untap and draw this card. When you draw a card, Kedrick Parasite will deal one damage to you. And now we both have ob triggers, mine resolves first. Correct. So I'll put a counter on my ob Nixilis and I'll exile this card. It's a midnight. I'll put a counter on my ob Nixilis and I'll exile Tainted Pact. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so what you're saying is I can draw 30 cards. It's true. You drew your one card for the turn. Yep. Yeah, I know. All right, well, I am going to propose a very interesting quandary to Jerry. I'm going to Chain of Vapor your Spirit of the Labyrinth. Mm. Would you like to sacrifice your only land to Chain of Vapor? Alex's Obnixilis. No. Or the Kendrick. Okay, all right. This is Exiled. Yep, Exiled under Doffy. Oh, this is going to be bad. It's fine, everybody. Spend three treasures, cast Riel. Okay. Move to combat. Mm -hmm. Jerry. Yep. No Wide block. open. 31. Trigger. You get a treasure and a Utopia Sprawl. Does it say forest? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you can cast it on Jerry. <laughs> you want to yeah. put it on my Savannah? Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to spend two treasures and I'll float a red. Yep. And I'm going to cast Breakthrough X equals two. So I'm going to draw four cards. Then I get to keep two cards and discard the rest of my hand. Okay. Yeah. So I uh, take four damage. Yep. Uh, yeah. I think you have to resolve all of that before any of this yes. can happen. Okay. Well, yep. I'm saying keep track because we'll I'm going to do a lot of stuff. Sounds good. One, two, three, four. All right. So I'm going to keep these two cards and I'm going to discard into the Dothy Voidwalker uh, a training center, a deflecting SWAT, a curiosity, a force negation, a mox diamond, and an island. Wow. Okay. So I believe that triggers Riel. Yeah. And it also um, triggers both of our Obnixilis. Yeah. Uh, Keteric Parasite. Keteric yes, Parasite. Sorry, Keteric so Parasite. that's four damage from the Keteric Parasite for the four cards I drew. Right. So I'll put on four counters. You'll put on four counters. Yep. Uh, so you'll exile your top four first. So I've got Nashi, Prismatic Vista, Moon Circuit Hacker, and Force of Negation. Nice. Wish Claw Talisman, Sensei's Divining Top, Mayhem Devil, Ancient Tumba. So these six cards are going to go into this Daffy White Walker. Okay. And Trigger Riel. I'm going to draw six cards. Yep. And we're going to trigger this parasite. six times. Okay, six so life. Jan goes to 22. 21. 21. 21. 21. And each of your Obnix is going to trigger <laughs> yep. six times. I'll put six counters on my Obnixilis and exile six cards. I'll do the same. Mana Crypt, Skull Snatcher, Silver Fur Master, Mist Syndicate Naga, Shadow of Mortality, and a Chromox. We got Arcane Signet, Warrior's Oath, Cursed Mirror, Sun Scorch Desert, Sulphur Springs, and Rite of Flame. And I believe the stack is empty. Correct. So that's gone now. Under the, Under the <laughs> Void Walker. Mm -hmm. The Void Walker pile grows. Yeah. Uh, I will play a Command Tower. <gasps> Land for turn. That's illegal. I'm going to spend four treasures and I'm going to cast uh, Teferi, Master of Time. He's going to enter with three loyalty counters. Uh, so I'm going to plus one to fairy. I'm going to draw a card and discard a card. Sounds good. Uh, have you take one damage? Yep, I'm going to discard a card first. Yep. We're going to put this gemstone cavern under Dothy Boydwell. Oh, hey, okay. So Jen goes to 20. Goes 20. We each get one counter. And. Okay. I will exile Temporal Trespass. I will exile Mox Diamond. All right. One pass, Jerry. You got it. Utopia Stroll stays exiled. Untap, upkeep, draw, lose a life. Put a counter. I'm going to exile Thudded Strand. Put a counter. I'm going to exile Mana Crypt. I will play a Forest is Land for turn. We finally did it. We got there, friends. Wow. Hey. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm going to tap a Forest, and I will activate Survival of the Fittest, pitching a Llanowar Elves. I guess it goes under there. Mm -hmm. Yep. To search my library for a creature card. I will get this Heliod Suncrown, and guess what I'm going to cast? Is it Heliod Suncrown? It is Heliod Suncrown. Oh, just as he predicted. Oh, wow. wow. Just good stuff. All yeah. right, Alex, take her away. Oh, end of your turn. Oh. I'm plus one to fairy. Okay. Draw a card, discard a card. 19. Uh, I will put a counter on Obnixilis, and I will draw a card. I'll put All a right. counter on Obnixilis, and I will exile Orcish Bowmasters. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, I'll discard this Fell War Stone. <sighs> Thank there. you. Uh, and trigger Riel, and draw another card. Okay. 18. Put a counter. And exile Dothy Voidwalker. Oh wow. Put a counter and exile 
Exotic Dante Void Walker. Good, because if you had Dante Void Walker, yeah, that was game lost. Yeah. Anything else? No. Right on. Untapping. Okay, everybody. And a pile of dice masquerading as my commander. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll draw a card. No triggers. We'll start off by casting Mana Crypt at a red from Bergy. I will just get a bunch of these orange die and pretend they're red. Elliot doesn't know a difference, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. One you, red floating. One red. One, one red floating. Thank you. I'll uh, pay that one red into Rite of Flame to add two to my mana pool and a third from Bergy. Okay. So you have three red. So we have three red floating. Yep. We'll play Ancient Tomb as our land for turn. That does not give you a red. Sure, sure. doesn't. We'll then cast Chrome Mox for zero. Get a red. Imprinting Vampiric Tutor. Okay. Yep. You're up to four red. Excellent. At this point, I would like to pay one and a black for Tainted Pact. You're at five red. I will pass priority on Tainted Pact. You got it. Tainted Pact resolving. All will be one. Oh, is that what you were looking for? It was. Oh. Mm. Um, I think we're going to do a little player removal real quick. And I'm pretty sure I can kill Jin as he has no blockers. Excuse me. So we'll no go flying ahead. blockers. No flying blockers. All right. So we'll attack for uh, 25 in the air? Me or Teferi. Uh, you... <laughs> okay. Uh, I will phase out your Omnixilus. It is phased out. Sounds good. I will go ahead and cast Warrior's Oath using two of the red mana. So you go down to three and up to four. Down to three and up to four. Excellent. I'll use one of the red and and this Gemstone Caverns to cast Demonic Tutor. Yeah. Uh, so you go back up to four again. Back up to four again. Thank you. We'll grab this card and put it into my hand. Uh, so we're going to trigger Archivist of Ogma. I will gain a life and draw a card. And lose a life. And, and then life. I will lose a life and go back down to 30. Back to 30. <laughs> I'll get a counter. I'm going to exile Null Rod. All right. Okie dokie. My and treasures. You, yeah, you don't get anything. I don't yeah. get I don't get nothing. And none for Alex Wieners. <laughs> yep, that's the one. <laughs> Pay one and one of the red. Yep. Cast Orcish Bowmasters. Go back up to four. We're going to go ahead and deal one damage to Teferi. My Teferi. Also, uh, my Heliod was triggered off my uh, lifelink. Oh, yeah. So I will put a plus one, plus one counter onto Archivist. Cool. Sounds good. Use two mana for Arcane Signet. Okay. Is that using both of your red mana? Yeah, like both. Two red. Two red. Okay, so, so, so you're up to you're down to three. three. Same thing for Sensei's Divining Top. But that's free. And we'll go ahead and end this turn and go to our lose the game turn. All right. So we either win or we die. I like it. Me too. We're going to head untap. Obnix Lissel phase in. We'll draw a card. We're going to move to declare attacks. And one more time, we're going to try and kill Jan. Yep. I'm dead. Okay. 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 And with Jan gone, we're going to, in our second main phase, tap Mana Vault and Red Red to try and cast All Will Be One. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I got to try for it, right? I will exile uh, Seagate Restoration from my hand to cast Force of Negation in an attempt to counter it. Sounds good. We will tap Arcane Signet to Red Elemental Blast your Force wow, of Negation. Wow, didn't even need to crack the Dothy. Now the yeah. Force of Negation's under the Dothy. You also have a Red Floating. Thank Actually, you. you have two red floating because of the all will be one, too. Never mind. Oh, in that case, I'll just go ahead and untap Arcane Signet. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, you have one floating. Yeah. Thank you. I, I have, appreciate you. I have no more interaction that I can cast, so I'll pass priority and all is one. All right. All is one seems to resolve. I'll pay one and the one. Yep. To cast Underworld Breach. Oh, boy. Ooh, so you get a one off the bird again. I have a response. Yeah. Exiling this Allosaurus Shepherd from my hand, I'm going to Endurance targeting your graveyard. Ooh. Oh, wow, that's good. That's super bad for me. Interesting that it's endurance because it can't be fierce guardianship or force of negation. Yeah. yeah. I think that probably loses me the game. I will go ahead and tap Mana Crypt to Sensei's Divining Top. Yeah. You got it. With one colorless floating. Yep. One colorless and one red. Put him back like that. And then we'll resolve endurance. Shuffle everything in. All right. Uh, endurance is evoked. So it is going under the Dao. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure the storm count. But I don't think it matters unless someone can deal with grape shot. <laughs> that was a good one. That was good off the top. That's pretty good off that. There, uh... Storm count is a million. Yeah, lots Storm, and lots. storm count's enough to do one damage. So yeah, one damage <laughs> will trigger Obnixilis, which triggers all will be one, which triggers infinitely wow. killing my friends. Beautiful. 
Ironically, after all that, everything, I think the storm count's only like four. Yeah, it's not you that ended much. your turn. It's a, this is yeah. a new turn. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. I did. But it's still it enough. Could, it's could enough. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's still, yeah, it's still really good. That's it. Yeah. yeah. This Ob Nixless deck is a menace. I was trying to judge. I had 18 life left if I could mill you out. Oh, yeah. By drawing cards. I, it wouldn't have been the most impossible thing in the world, I don't think. Yeah. yeah. So, Jen. Yes. Uh, I got to know. What were you digging for when you gave us all those cards and counters? Uh, another piece of removal to get rid of the Voidwalker, and then I had Breach. Because, oh. like, yeah. at that point, um, my life is largely irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Just to get, I have to get rid of the Voidwalker, and because um, I had the Teferi, the Teferi could phase out the uh, Kendrick, the thing dealing one. Kedrick Parasite. Kedrick yeah. Parasite. Parasite. Just any one more piece of erect, because either either I phase out the Voidwalker and bounce the Parasite, right. or I do vice versa, Yeah. and then I've got Breach and I'm good to go. It's just, yeah. I drew into lands and then creatures. Yeah, that's rough. So it was like, I can't do much of anything. So. Yeah. You were set up for a next turn win, weren't you? If I drew a red source. Yeah. Because mm. I would need the Is red the source, because I had the Heliod, and then I just have to figure out how to give something lifelink, and then it's the pop, 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 pop. <laughs> that is what it says in the rules. Yeah, in the comp rules. Yeah, yeah it's bops. Yeah. Move, move to bops. Comp, comp rule 908.1. <laughs> How wild was it copying Obnixilis and getting that value? Yeah, I really like copying Obnixilis. Um, the, the rough part is it ripped some stuff that I really don't want to hard cast from yeah. Exile, like Shadow of Mortality, Temporal Trespass. Right. Um, like I want them on top of my library and not in Exile for me to cast. Um, I did like the fact that Yuriko puts the card in my hand, right. uh, so that was really nice. I felt good about that. Um, but I think I probably would have searched up removal with my Imperial Seal um, had I known that Jan was going to go for drawing a bunch of cards. Right. Um, I was kind of expecting the Obnixilis to grow slower than it did. Um, but I definitely would have gone for removal, I think. I, I ended the turn, or ended the game with a Dispel in my hand. I did have one more right. piece of interaction, but I didn't have any mana to cast it. Um, but I, this this deck is light on counter magic mm -hmm. in particular. It does have quite a bit of removal. Well, it's just stuff like Snuff Out. Yeah. Well, know? that's why I kind of felt it was wild that I had Counterspell backup all yeah. of a sudden because of Dothy Voidwalker. That made me feel real comfortable going for the Tainted Pact turn. Yeah. Although the, the phase out really was like, yeah. ah, oh no! Phase out. Yeah. And I had no real big hits off of Yuriko this game, yeah. um, which kind of sucked. Like I, I hit a two zeros <laughs> and two ones, I think. No, I had a two. You had a two. I had a two. <laughs> yeah. Well, any case, folks, we just want to thank Game Genix yes. so much for sponsoring the channel. They very generously help us keep the lights on around here, including some new lights that we just put up so you can better see our boards. If you want to better see your board covered in some glorious neoprene from our friends at Game Genix, just go over to your local game store, check them out. If they don't have them there, ask for them. You want these products. In the meantime, you're going to be seeing some names scrolling past my head over here on the side. These are our patrons. These are the ones that help us keep the other lights on, the ones in the rest of the house that help us edit focus, and generally put decks together. And we want to thank all, each and every one of them so much. If you want to join this list of names, all you have to do is head over to patreon.com slash thespikefeeders, and for as little as one dollar, you can get access to our Discord and all of our cool stuff. In the meantime, folks, we just want to say thank you so much for watching, and we hope you have a great day.